Hi there, my name is Riley Morgan, and welcome to Movement Crops Institute. Um, I'm, the, I'm the processing specialist here at NCI, and uh, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to uh, show you how we make pasta on our pasta press. This is a Demaco pasta extruder, it's a single screw extruder, low shear, low energy uh, pasta extruder. We make about well, it has the ability to make 120 pounds an hour. And this is a smaller scale pilot processing uh, extruder, but it scales up very nicely to industrial purposes. So we do a lot of uh, work here for people that are doing research and development with their pasta. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take you through the uh, pasta process basically and how this all works and it starts at the very top I guess and works its way down this right here would be the that's the, the feed hopper that's where we load the raw materials into the uh, unit and these are load cells these load cells basically help uh, it keeps a constant flow of raw material into the mixer. So as we, as this feed hopper gets empty, it's taking a measurement of the weight, it sends a signal to a control panel that sends a signal on this motor on how fast to turn these screws. There's screws right in here, four of them that turn. They might not turn very much faster, but they turn fast enough to keep uh, constant rate. So if I have the rate of 74 kilograms an hour, it's going to stay that way no matter how full or empty this this uh, feed hopper is. So it comes down and uh, falls down into an airlock. From the airlock, it drops down into into the mixing chamber. This is the mixing chamber right here. You can see the mixing paddles right back here. We've got some. That's where the water comes in at. Uh, so it comes down, it gets hit with water, and it gets mixed. So the water and the mixing is what helps develop the gluten. The retention time in here is about, you know, five minutes, five, six minutes, depending on how full your mixer is. And, you know, if you have a really full mixer, the retention time is going to be more. If, it's, if the mixer isn't very full, then your retention time will be less. So. But we like to have it just about where it is now. You can see where the material is just kind of coming over the blades, the, the shaft of the blades, basically. That's about where we like to keep it at. From there, it comes down and uh, enters the extruder barrel where the extruder uh, screw is. As we move on down the system here. So we have, we, we're moving from the mixer to the extruder barrel. The, the material is now entering the extruder barrel where, where the extruder screw is. It's a, it's a, a solid piece. Um, the RPMs are at 25.2. Like I said, it's a low mechanical energy, low shear. We don't want to get the dough very hot. You know, if we get above 55 degrees Celsius, then the, the proteins get denatured, the proteins that are in the, the dough which would be the gluten, basically. So we bring it into the screw. The screw uh, transports the material. We have a resting zone here where it, uh, the, the pasta has a chance to rest and the gluten set up a little bit more. And then we come to the head. It's a 90 degree angle head. Right now we have the die on. You can see this is a rotini die. These, uh, these are water baths right here. These water baths, uh, this bottom one, is for the uh, water that's going into the mixer. It's at 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, the, the reason why we have 40 degrees Celsius temp water, that temp of water, going into the mixing chamber, it helps to, it helps to, it creates a better mixing for the large particles of semolina and the finer particles of flour that are mixed in with the semolina. All semolina has a little bit of flour in it. So it just helps to, uh, it helps to mix that stuff up better. And this right here is the water bath for our uh, extrusion barrel. It's a jacketed barrel. 
and the water comes in at 30 degrees Celsius and it leaves the system at 35 degrees Celsius. So we're taking five degree, five degrees of temperature out of uh, out of the dough basically. And again, we just want to keep that dough temperature lower than 55 degrees Celsius. Otherwise, we'll damage the proteins. I can start out. This right here is the temperature of the flour. The temperature of the flour as it enters the feed hopper. This is this would tell me how fast uh, the flour is coming into the system at. Right here, semolina moisture. So that is the moisture of my dry ingredient coming into the system. We're using some pretty fresh semolina right now. It's at 14 percent. Right now, we're, we're, you can see the well, You'll see that we've got the shaker table out. We put on the die cutter, and we're going to press some buttons here, and we're going to get everything going, and we're going to start making some pasta. So here we go. sit out in ambient humidity because if we did the outside of the noodle would dry and when we went to go put it in the dryer the rest of the moisture that was in the noodle wants to escape it will crack because the outside of the surface of the noodle is dry so we get checking is what they call that and when you went to go cook it up it would break all apart and nobody would want to eat it so, so it's going to take about 23 24 minutes to, to fill this up so you want to keep the stuff that we first collect, nice and moist. So this would run at about 92% humidity. And now that we have the door open, the, the vaporizer just kicked on because it's going below that 92%. So now it's saying we need more humidity. So I'll, I'll close this door. And now it'll get back up to 92%. And once it reaches 92%, it, shuts off. We, we're at the humidity cabinet. When we get the collection trays totally filled up, we need to transition from the humidity cabinet into the dryer. So this is our drying unit. It's a static drying unit. Um, we, we can collect about or dry about 200 pounds of dried pasta in here. Um, so this does, the, this does the drying. It runs at high temperature, high humidity. Um, for about, it's like a 15 hour long cycle. We're going to conclude the tour of the pasta processing um, lab that we have here. And I want to thank you for tuning in and, and uh, I encourage you to attend our pasta production technology short course, usually held in April.